River Hill's experience helps drive 53-44 victory over Old Mill. River Hill boys basketball coach Matt Graves didn't worry when his team allowed a 6-0 run to close the first quarter on Wednesday night. Nor did he fret when Old Mill guard Ryan Savage made a three-pointer early in the second period to push the Hawks' deficit to nine. Graves knew he had an experienced unit, starting five seniors and returning nine players from last year's Howard County champion squad. So, the coach wasn't surprised when the Hawks pushed the tempo and went on a 15-5 run in the third quarter to gain a lead they didn't relinquish in a 53-44 victory at Old Mill. They know what it feels like to play in a slow game, a fast game, an ugly game, a fun game, Graves said. We've been on both sides where we've been real stagnant at times and real explosive at times. Old Mill, the reigning Anne Arundel County champions who opened last season on an 18-game winning streak, forced the Hawks into that slow style early. The Patriots, 1-2, ran a 2-3 zone defense that baited the Hawks, 5-0 into settling for missed three-pointers. River Hill had just five points minutes into the second quarter, while old mill guard Mozzie Thames had already scored four of his team-high 15 points. But that's when Graves saw the rim get a little bit bigger and bigger, particularly for guard Jacob Gross. The Hawks went on a 14-3 run, turning their 14-5 deficit into a 19-17 lead with about two minutes left in the half. In that span, Cross had three straight buckets for seven points. He finished with nine points in the quarter, en route to a team-high 19-point performance. It came as River Hills veterans, eight seniors, two juniors and zero interclassmen saw playing time, focused on scoring in transition. Cross said the Hawks knew Old Mill liked to play fast, so opponents often try to draw out their possessions. But River Hill did the opposite. The team sharpened their passes. They had been too passive in lofting the ball through the zone in the first period, Cross said, and tightened its defense. Forward Dylan Daniels blocked multiple shots throughout the night, and the guards would spread the court for outlet passes each time the senior rose for a swat. We do a drill a lot in practice, a five-man passing drill, Cross said. When they weren't expecting it, we just made good passes, broke the defense down and got into a lane and made transition buckets. That helped the Hawks tie it at 23 at halftime before Cross added five points and senior guard Luke Champion, who battled first half foul trouble, had eight of his 11 points to power River Hill's dominant third period. We have shooters, we have big guys, we have slashers, so our big thing was to keep the ball moving, Graves said. We did, especially on that little run there 